Topping our news at five thousands of Detroit casino workers now on strike raising the stakes. Thank you for joining us here at five. I'm Brian Abel and I'm Glenda Lewis. Union workers at MGM Casino, the Hollywood Casino and Greek Town in Motor City all walking off the job and onto the picket line at noon today. This is a live look we have for you outside of Hollywood Casino in Greek Town where dozens of workers striking in solidarity. And then Chopper 7 giving us a bird's eye view of the picket line outside of Motor City Casino tonight. It's the first time ever that Detroit casino workers have gone on strike. The walkout involves about 3,700 employees who have various jobs at the casino. Today, I spoke with striking workers at the MGM and their demands for change. If we can get up, shut it down! If we can get up, shut it down! Economic justice. And we, we are fighting for our health care. 16 years working at the Deep Prime Steakhouse at MGM Grand Casino. And for Jameel Johnson, it all stacks up to a 12 o'clock call to action. Treat your workers like you should. These are the people who stood by this company, right? Through COVID, we helped them weather the storm. We making history today. We going on our strike, MGM. Workers went live. This is Gertie Bates keeping it 100. We have gave this company, we have sweated. We have, we have been hurt. We have yeah. walked in here hurt. We have put blood in here. Shouted chants. Shut, Shut, Shut it down. Shut it down. Shut it down. And pace the entrance and exits of MGM after months of full house negotiations turned out to be a bust at the bargaining table. In the middle of the night, did talks break down or you just said, hey, enough is enough? So the bargaining committee, we were in negotiations yesterday for 27 hours. We gave the employer our counter to their offer at 3.30 a.m. They went to bed, we stayed there, and they came back 50 minutes before the deadline. So while they were sleeping, we were planning to take on the streets because you could tell that they were not serious. And as much as it's about livable wages, and you say in 24 years you've only had Seven dollars and some change total. Raised. Raised. Ever. The whole year, yes. Throughout the whole duration. Seven dollars and some change. Mm -hmm. So people being hired now are being hired at the wage that you worked 24 years for. Exactly, yes. It's also about the lack of post-pandemic staff, down 1,500 workers. We want action, action and we want it now. Healthcare standards, better technology, and the ACE is respect. What has happened is that, like many other employers, these Detroit casino employers forgot about the sacrifices that their workers made to keep them afloat through the pandemic. And not only that, it's the level of disrespect, it's the level of not listening to the needs of the workers, just feeling like a, a human being and want to be heard. You've made record profits. Just come to the table with a fair deal. And Unite Here plans to stand united right there outside of MGM where I was this afternoon until their requests can be considered with respect. And really it all boils down to how people are treated because a lot of the message among the workers in addition to the wages and was how they feel they're being treated. If they're being valued or not. Yes. All right. Well, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Glenda, thank you. And stay with 7 Action News on air and online as the latest develops on this strike. Ahead on 7 Action News at 6, we're finding out what you can expect if you have plans to go to any of Detroit's casinos.